Alright, what is going on folks? I'm back here. Arthur is about to head out into town. Who is that fella? He's about to head out into town. And we are going to learn about the, the history of these families. And learn about the Greys and Caligula Hall. Definitely sounds like some sort of vampire hall or something of that sort. While I'm there, um, I might check out some clothing. I haven't bought any clothes yet for Mr. Morgan. And uh, <clears throat> what made me think of that is I decided right now is saying, you know, if I'm a, a deputy here, need to dress a little differently. Uh, so I changed up my outfit a little bit, but I think I'm going to go see what I can buy. I haven't, haven't done that at all yet. So let's go into Rhodes. It's a little bigger town than we've been to before and see what we can find there. Uh, we did get some money from that last mission. We're over, over a grand. Uh, but, you know, it's bound to happen. Cornwall's going to show up again, I'm sure. Uh, and that's kind of the theme here, I think, is, you know, you live this life. It's going to it's gonna keep coming back on you. Um, if anyone enjoys this story and hasn't seen it, go watch Sons of Anarchy because it feels so much like that story. Uh, the idea... You don't feel it so much with Arthur here as you do with Jax in Sons of Anarchy, but, you know, people living this out start to question, you know, is this what I want to do? Is, this, is there longevity to this? Can I... Can I always live this way, or was it, is it always gonna? Is it always gonna catch up with me? Right? When can I ever relax? When I can I can I ever have like the life that I want? And I think I think part of this story is that you never can. Could obviously be more to that. Um, you could extrapolate it to to more of life than uh, just living as an outlaw, but uh, definitely true in something like this, where what you want, what you're chasing after, is something that really is just not attainable. Yeah, I just broke your door. Well, let's look at outfits first. What? Paragon Town. Can I view it? No. Saint Denis has all the action. It's true, but if you want real class, you know, real traditional class, you come to Rhodes. Kind of like that. A little much. Uh, 
I like this shopkeeper. No need to bluff. You want one of those little dogs, don't you? Done. I need a different shirt. Hmm. Kind of more what I'm looking for. Purple vest. Can't see how it goes with the purple vest. Huh. A lot of folks like that. Kind of like that shirt. No. Black. Nah. Meh. Run out a lot. What's caught your eye? Maybe those. Oh. Those. Or no, no, no. No. These. Since when was I wearing gloves? Oh. Nah. Fancy pants. Nah. Those look the exact same as what I'm wearing. Oh, sure you are. Ooh. These are kind of nice. Oh my goodness. A lot of folks like that. Uh -huh. I like those. I like that. Puff dye, suspenders, fine suspenders. Wait a minute. Oh, these are chaps. I don't see what they look like. Whoa, half chaps. You know what I want, though? General store in town, but let's face it. All right, we got to look at coats. Ooh, okay, Rambler jacket. Man, you said about everything. Oh, decisions, decisions. That was the scout jacket. Worsted coat. Shotgun coat. Alright, man. Kind of like that. Kind of like that, too. This one, 
or this one. I don't quite know. This one. Did not look at hats yet. My grandpa oh, I... was an aristocrat, you know, pure blood Englishman. If he saw what is this? For a living, he'd probably kill me. You want to take no risk? You can't go wrong here, unless you own the place. <laughs> Stalker hat. Military scout hat. Something I kind of like about that. You want one of those little dogs, don't you? They call Sergeant Presley. Mm -mm -mm. State boss? Nah. Paragon town? Nah. I look like I don't trust myself. <laughs> Big city head. This looks like a like a Coachella. <laughs> what is this? Oh yeah. If I go to Europe, all good. All of it. Hmm. My head looks dull. Another lady's sun hat. It really though that makes sense in the. Oh. Do not look intimidating. Seen what you're after? Do, do, do. Yes, sir. And... Ammunition. Rifle cartridges. It's all good. <sighs> what was that? Almost done, almost done. Huh? <laughs> what? Hair, healthcare snake oil. Yep. Okay, we're good. Spent all my money. That's it for now. Thanks, brother. And run through the door.
the heck? Getting worse, not better. We need to settle this soon, once and for all. Hmm. Come on, let's get out of here. If I can dress up differently. Anyway, I just said I can't can't cause a ruckus. Can't mess with my weapons and stuff like that. But um, there's a reminder that Dutch has already asked you to do that. Anyways, can I greet these fellas? This is Private Sheriff's orders. He wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Where does one hitch their horse around here? Time is it? Eight PM. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. What? Wish you could rush without sprinting like you can in camp. I'll take one fisk. See red right in here. It's gonna this this guy's gonna be interesting. the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping i guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful yankees about the place is there what are you doing here i was just looking for work well, looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Oh. Hello, Romeo and Juliet. Complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderous to the Braithwaites for so long now, hmm. no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's... 
Like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds, it seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We what am I supposed to do? Kind of money. No brains, mind, but money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Bring a note. And this bracelet, please. I would take my badge off. I did not learn much. Okay. So long and good luck. Oh boy. So I have to sneak and she's gonna be on a porch swing. I'm just gonna s can I jump over these bushes? Are these guards gonna like it if I just run past them? Hey, you better follow that order, right? <laughs> what order? Hmm. Hmm. What'd you say? What'd you say? I thought I'd bonded to the point where I, I was able to do that. I don't under understand why I fall down. Can you jump the fence? Look at that. This is some romantic music. Look at me following the road. Oh, I'm so terrible right now. Hmm. For the same waypoint, it's telling me two different directions. And again, Different. Okay then. All right. Do we see guards? They're gonna be up here. I mean, we're already through a fence. Oh. There's one.
Oh. Well, not that way. There's my horse. All right. See, I thought he said something about a porch swing. That's where she was. I think I can easily get into those trees. What's up, horse? Is my horse following me? But where is she? All the guards are over here. Let's get her to the waypoint. There's no guards on this side right now. Is she showing up on my map anywhere? Not anywhere yet. Stay up. Okay, now he's going this way. But she's over that way now. Oh, she she's way out there. So I want to go this way, and then I just got to worry about this guy. Maybe I can sneak through here. I could have maybe gone that way. Maybe it makes more sense to go wide. It seems like this is going to be okay, though. the only one out there okay that guy uh, I think I'm just going over to the water first uh, let's go behind this tiny tree come on crouch down Okay, straight through here. That guy's looking this way. I don't think he'll see me.
That goes over there. Stay by this wagon and stuff. Okay. How far away is that guy? That guy can't see me. Yeah, we can just run now. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? <laughs> I guess I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio? Sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left, but now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. <laughs> Families are, are, they're something else. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. <laughs> I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Should I just walk back out? All right, I want to say, oh, geez, why it's so red? I'm just going down, down here, along the shore. <laughs> Wait a minute, what was that? That's Penelope. Yeah. Now, there's not going to be anybody here. There's one guy up there. There's nobody further. Just the guy running down the road. Oh, did I do well? Complete with it now. Huh. Arthur's doing my interval training. Come on. Oh, 
All right. Well. Damn. Shoot. <laughs> All right. Where are you, horse? Now I can just walk back through the manor. Actually, they might not let me in unless I. I wonder if I can go through this guy's farm. This looks abandoned. Besides all the corn that's actually growing. Huh. I don't see any people. I don't think anyone would care if I just went inside. Grain shoot. Also, can I jump out this? Hell, <laughs> heck yes. <laughs> that was sick. That was sick. That's like their mansion, huh? Let me rear. Yeah. That a horse. That a horsey. Nice. Let's get out of this place. Beautiful here, like the, you know, most of the game. All right, but what are we going to do now? This is on our map now. Go back to Bo, or we can go to Lenny. Well, let's bring this back to Bo. I think I'm going to have to wrap it up after that. Well, let's get that taken care of first. Complete within three minutes. I should look at the objectives before I start, but... Oh, 
Come on, come on. Keep the shotgun out. Hide behind a tree. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Can I cut her free? Oh, praise be, you came when you did. I don't know what would happen. You just get home safe, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Where's your horse? All right. Buddy, what were you doing, man? Let's just check anything hidden in an old house like this. In a chest or something. Nope. Stuff's all burnt up. Nothing. Can't cause a ruckus in roads. Look at all these horses. Easy now. No. These guys are getting mad. It's black on the chestnut.
Oh, Retta is Caligula. I did say that earlier, if anybody remembers that. It's Caliga, or Caliga, Caliga. Remember me? I'm working for the grave now. Sir, you look like a man on a mission. Uh huh. So, don't let me keep you. Bye then. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that's so fun. Are you still here, buddy? Oh, where are you? Where are you? Someone should be nice to these folks. Morning. Morning, sir. Mister. Morning. Good to see someone who ain't afraid of hard work. If I don't do it, who will? Hey, mister. Morning to you. I like you, mister. You have a kind face. Uh-huh. Morning to you. Good morning. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Yep. <laughs> Mister? Morning, partner. Busy day? Ain't nobody paying me for doing nothing. Well, keep at it. Goodbye. Oh my goodness, this could end bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. my money sure did she give anything for me yes might i have it sure but it'll cost you uh, i'm playing i can't be bothered here take it oh, thank you arthur you'll thank you my god what a woman she's this will get her killed for sure. Uh oh. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. <laughs> Bring back the monarchy given half a chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to <laughs> marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her in uh -oh. those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. How much? Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. What? You roped me into something else now. Twelve bucks. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rose. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go We're going to cinematic. Wait, go. Go. 
Oh, he's right there. Uh, my apologies. Holy f Calm down. All right, cinemas. Calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. So weird. Every once in a while, it follows him automatically. Oh, jeez. Who's the shirtless guy in the back? I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this what, man? We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, they treat us like the sheep, and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? I can't shoot in roads, right? right? Ladies, we know our song is a good one, and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Do I need those ladies to... What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Chip. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Uh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. This will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. All right. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's Sheriff's not going to be happy about this. Go a little faster. Sir, fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Founding fathers. Got a point. Not founding mothers, you silly hey, old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing? He's a big dude. Listening, I suppose. Go help, Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. 
Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo. a cocky little... Well, we just leaving. Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Randy. Look at my badge, fool. You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Good. Can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Hurry up, buddy. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. That's my good. My primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasures. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. I've been here. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love it. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for it. <coughs> I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. I don't. Your payment. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. I mean, I don't need your money. This is Braithwaite's. Oh. Well. Gotta do some gun cleaning. Back. Mm. Let's see what this one is like. Now it's in good condition.
Oops. What? Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, that was not needed. Anyway. Alright, we're headed back to camp. <clears throat> With that, I'm going to wrap this up. It's kind of a fun one. Interesting. Interesting to see more of the history between the the Greys and the Braithwaites and see how that's going to play out. Oh. Actually have to stay. All right, girl. Where's he going? Buddy. Honor went down. So I picked up his moonshine. Is it gonna go down again? No. Okay, come on. Valerian route. Hey, mister. Hey, partner. Yeah, when is, okay, so the things I'm wondering, when is Cornwall uh, going to come back after us, Leviticus Cornwall? Oh, sorry, bunny. Uh, for me, <laughs> I'm just curious, is Mary coming back into the game? I like Mary. Uh, how quick do we have to move again? And uh, does John Marston get more involved in the story as this goes to? Let's try not to ride into it. 
Yeah, as in talking into a tree. Hey, friend. So I'm curious about that. Um, but yeah, as I'm getting close to camp, thank you so much for watching. This was a kind of a fun, interesting one. I always prefer actually like landscape wise uh, I like it more when it's out in the west uh, up in the mountains or in the kind of like the plains the dry arid uh, places as opposed to the, the east but um, this is fun this is interesting new terrain and everything so it's kind of cool and uh, fishing is cool we didn't have that on the first one Can't let it go. Nope. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Put it out of its misery. Uh, yep. Cook. Alright, Arthur's gonna cook. I don't know if that entails skinning. I've never seen that before. Gonna cook more. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed these videos, like and subscribe. And, um, oops, excuse me. And uh, comment, give me any tips, anything, oh, anything uh, you'd like to see, uh, any missions that your fav were your favorite, things like that. And uh, let me know if there's anything I can do different with this that uh, that would make it better. Um, I want to see if the buck, buck was still there. But yeah, let me know if there's anything I could do better here. Uh, give me a heads up if uh, I should do anything different, if anything needs to be fixed that you noticed. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.